Hey web designers, 2024 is right around the corner and you don't wanna show up looking like last year's news. So in this video, I'm gonna cover the top six design trends that I think are coming in 2024. first trend that has been very popular in 2023, it's going to continue into 2024, is the trend of dimensionality and layering. When I say dimensionality and layering, I mean layering elements on top of elements. It could be text on top of images. It could be images on top of text. It could be shapes on top of anything. It's just this scattered element scrapbook style that brings a lot of interest. And the reason that this dimensionality is so interesting is because it brings a little bit of life to your designs and we're starting to get away from that desire of everything on the web and inside of your interface looking really really flat and so start getting used to this artistically placed scattered element dimensionality because it's going to bring that life to your projects in 2024. Now I wouldn't say that Apple invented our next trend that we're going to talk about but they did have a huge influence on design as a whole. And that next trend is the bento grid. You can see here, Apple has started to become very, very well known for these bento grids. Uh, Microsoft did a lot of this as well in the surface design back in the day, but they've really become popularized now. And the reason that bento grids are so great is because they offer this sense of organization, uniformity, they feel really modern, where you can kind of encapsulate different elements the whole thing just works together. They're especially fun when they offer some interactivity like this. Bentos can be done for the web, for mobile devices, for native software. They're just a really fun, simple, and easy to use design style that is great for any project that you're working on. So definitely maybe keep this in your peripherals because the bento is coming for you. A trend that I'm very excited about is the departure away from neutral, calm, kind of boring color palettes and the move into vibrant colors, vibrant gradients used pretty much everywhere. With the reintroduction or the acceptance of styles like brutal neo-brutalism, we're going to see really, really cool use of color uh, that is just a lot more playful and a lot more fun. You're going to see gradients being mixed around with textures. The whole thing is going to feel fresh and fun. And I mean, from website to mobile application, we're going to see stuff like this everywhere. Why? Because again, I think that 2024 is going to be the year of fun. It's going to be the departure from boring, serious corporate stuff. And we're going to start moving into interactive, fun, colorful, and vibrant experiences on the web and in mobile devices. The next trend that really popped off in 2023, it's gonna continue growing, is the usage of 3D elements in every single thing that we do. Why? Because it offers these moments of cool interactivity, of storytelling, and the tools have now become incredibly cheap, easy to use, and accessible for everybody. So the technology is cheaper, it's more available, it's easy to use. There's tools like Spline and Adobe Dimension and all these other tools out there that are making it available not to 3D specialists, but to normal old web design and UI design Joes like you and me. And so we're gonna continue to see the use of 3D, 3D in not just splash screens in singular moments, but across entire applications because of that cool interactivity that it offers. 2023 was the year where AI artwork really exploded, but it was a bit rough around the edges. And with the advancements of the tools in this last year, moving into 2024, we are gonna see a huge explosion with AI artwork, AI imagery, again, because now it is way more possible to find assets and visual things that can help fit the needs of any project. So we're gonna say goodbye to stock imagery and we're gonna say hello to really cool, customized, dialed in AI imagery. And again, some of my favorite tools to do that is gonna be things like Mid Journey. Pretty soon we're gonna be able to prompt directly in the tool, no longer using things like Discord, Adobe Express, AKA Adobe Firefly, and all of their AI technology and abilities is gonna be amazing. And so get really, really used to prompting, increase that prompting skill of yours so you get the types of assets that you absolutely need for your projects. The last trend to talk about today is not so much a design trend as much as it is a tool trend. And that is the amazing power of no-code tools. I think we're gonna to continue to see no-code tools used from here on out because it decreases the friction that you need to build amazing websites and applications. I'm looking at Wix Studio here as an example. You can do complex logic, backend programming, CMSs, e-commerce, and a whole bunch more using a tool like this to accomplish your goals. And that means 
that you're going to have less friction getting your idea or your concept into the world. And I'm a big fan of anything that allows you to get your concept into the world with the least amount of friction. So no code tools have exploded and they're going to continue to be used. And if you're interested, definitely check out some links down in the description for no code tools like Wix Studio, but it's definitely a powerful trend to jump on if you haven't already. Well, that about wraps up my predictions for the 2024 design trends. What do you think? Did I miss anything? Let me know down in the comments and let's start a conversation about the trends that you're excited for. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you know when more videos come out. And speaking of more videos, there's a video right here for you to watch and another one right there. Until next time, see you later.